Good afternoon, this is Paritosh Kumar. Today we will discuss the principle of 3R. 3R principle says reduce, reuse and recycle. This is the best method suggested by the expert that everyone in uh, each of us we have to participate in the separation of the plastic, it, disposal of the plastic and creation of the less, less creation of the plastic waste. So, uh, the, in order to the first one the, is reduce. Reduce is simply uh, creating less waste. When you are creating less waste, you are stopping the problem at source. What we can do, do to create this? The, our role is that to simply replace from single use to the reuse or avoid the plastic or minimize the use of plastic. Eliminate the plastic where it is not required. However, eliminating plastic from daily life is almost impossible because it's convenient as well as cost effective. But to protect our earth, we must adopt it. And reusable water bottle, straws and the lid of the soft drink are the easiest one to start. It is almost impossible to live without plastic, but to start with, this lead of this PET and this straw could be a good option because both are, for me, it is useless. We can start with this. That's all. The second one is the uh, reuse. Reuse is simply choose to reuse. We can also do this if the plastic, which plastic is non-usable now, which is not, doesn't, doesn't can be used further, we have to sell it. If it is not sellable, then donate it. If both are not possible then to try uh, to trash it responsibly. At the part of the manufacturer or the <coughs> factory side, we must create, we must focus to design the plastic which is safely reusable. And the fourth part is simply replace wherever possible from single use to reuse. Like PET bottle, can be reused, can be refilled. As we already knowing that PET is 100% safe to reuse. Then the third one is recycle. Recycle, this might involve complex procedure. This is the process of transforming an item to, re, to be more purposeful, more useful for the society. However, this uh, creating the, the recycling is little bit tough and tough is in the collection of the plastic and the separation of the plastic. It is huge costly and labor intensive. So let's see what this uh, gentleman is trying to say us. Hi. Today I would like to speak to you about eco bricks. What you see with me is a plastic wrapper. This is one of the greatest invention of mankind. We don't know that these plastic wrappers are reusable. You all know that there are many kind of plastic wrappers like uh, plastic wrapper of biscuits, chips, noodles, chocolates, etc. We are all depositing these wrappers into the dustbins or throwing away. And you know what will happen? It will get dirty and spoil. Finally, the wind take it to the streets, land speed, and it reaches in rivers and sea, sea water, and sometimes got fire. Because of this, our environment get polluted, and it will badly affect our health as well. At this point, we need to change our thoughts, as these plastic wrappers are not a waste, and it is reusable and highly beneficial for us. We and our country can get huge benefit by reusing it. How it is beneficial for us? I can tell you some examples. If we collect and recycle 10 lakh of wrappers, we can use this for construction of uh, one kilometer of road by it. With this, we can construct food paths, paper blocks, corrugated sheets, etc. For this, what we have to do is collect clean wrappers and keep it in the big bottles. 
you know you can keep it like this finally we will transfer the bottles to the municipality or concerned authority who will dispose it for recycle have a wonderful life thank you so much eco bricks prevent plastic waste from disrupting the ecosystem and create an ecological consciousness against plastic it saves the earth from being infertile and reduces the cost of manpower as well as usage of machinery hence viable for the recycler